Hi guys, thanks for watching my cinematic trailer project. My project is very easy to customize and uh, fast to render. Also, it very convenient and to create cinematic looking to your project or for your silence. Now I will introduce my project at first. You can see my project is consists of these compositions and the science color is about your local or person's information and the default colors comp such as this is your titles or tanks composition and uh, the rest uh, purpose colors is your media pictures display comp okay now i will show how to replace your tanks or medias in my project Okay, please check out the project window. If you do not see this panel, you can turn on them in Windows project here. And uh, you can see four folders in this panel. Please find replace. I already connect all the replace comp into these folders. Okay, first is your logo replace. Just double click to into this comp and uh, just uh, de delete this default logos and add your old logos such as such as these logos just drag to footage folder okay you can see now this is your logos just drag to this comp and uh, hide the default and uh, turn on. target the transition grid. Just uh, scale a bit. Press S and scale a bit. Okay. And uh, now back to cinematic comp one. Okay. You see, sorry. Please know that when you insert your logo, please enable the 3D switch here. Don't forget this. And now back to this. You see, the shadow is becoming normal. Okay, that is your logo. And uh, due to the person is far behind the, the logo, if we want to change, please unshy and uh, find the uh, slogan. Just uh, move it a bit to to your logo. Okay, that's all. It's very easy. Now next is. Your tanks replace. Mm. I already connect all the set grid in this holder, such as end title replace one two, and uh, middle replace and open title replace. First, uh, maybe the open title replace. Okay. Just double click. You can double click to type your word or create a new one, such as you can type what you want, but please into two lines here. Use this one and make it a bit larger. When you finish it, please back to cinematic comp two. Mm. Sorry. Don't forget to enable the 3D. Okay. Your tanks is 
is finished here. It's very easy. And uh, the open tanks is just uh, do the same things. And don't forget to switch the sandy 3D. Okay, so this is the jump to video display remember all these titles are just uh, the same of same castle as we okay let's jump to video replace video replace is also see such as drag some just uh, drag some medias to footage comp and drag to this comp you see I already know the end point in the forward compositions please edit it by yourself and if ok back to the you see your video is in the compositions automatically due to the media composition tanks you can modify them yeah this six one one two three four five six this six is uh, video tanks you can double click to edit just, just do the same things as the open titles back and uh, the rest is the middle middle titles you can see there in this this two is media it will be oh, stand out and disappear very faster you can add some slogan or informations to these two titles be just between the three media display and uh, the last three media display. Um, double click to edit, and uh, the last is the uh, end of titles. You see, end of title is here. One, two, just double click to edit and don't forget to enable the 3d switch that's important okay the replace tutorial is over because it's very very easy and uh, faster to edit also my project include uh, 1018 and uh, 720p resolution to your choice you just uh, choose your one to render you see such as you want uh, 720p you just uh, select this comp and uh, add to render queue here it's very easy so now i will show some advanced informations to you if you want uh, further customizations here and now back to such as cinematic combo one so if you wanted to change some texture looking in these locals you can find uh, you can find the control layers in the first one and uh, jump into the effect window you can turn over the panel in this you see just check the check on this and you will see some perimeter in these windows such as if you want to make a deep of the outline you can change this this perimeter you see but I recommend to recommend you do not term too larger because too larger it is is unnormal here just uh, 
that's a bit a little it's okay and inside deep you see okay you can change this perimeter to create a new texture lookings in your old project and the uh, outline track okay sorry do not turn to larger just minus five and inside choke so much back I recommend you just uh, use just use the default setting it is looks very good and also you can turn on the original colors just use the texture colors okay just this also you can change change them in each comp because they control in individuals so that's very, very easy you see you can easy to change parameters in each titles conversation just the titles conversation such as this one you just find the control layers this is the layers for your parameters control and the next thing is, is about the particular particular effect you can see some particular effect this particular effect is find these layers when you first open it just uh, display these two layers and uh, the other layers you do not need to edit so just uh, the particulars you want to edit why to edit this comp that is just uh, find the procedures and uh, this three parameter is one to edit so this you can see it's the ellipse to ellipse area in the preview windows it just uh, creation area in this CC particular world just uh, down a bit to match your logo's size that is easy to understand just uh, modify it such as this okay that is good but if you do not edit this parameter that is also okay just uh, advanced customization tip okay also you can find this layers in each titles conversations if you want to edit uh, just uh, just uh, select these layers and find the procedure and uh, change to the radius XYZ okay so I think my tutorial is over now Thank you for your watching and uh, enjoying your time. I will see you next time.